Hey there, awesome physics students. Let's talk about the momentum example, specifically the one with ice skaters that are pushing on each other because that illustrates some really useful ideas about conservation of momentum. So again, the scenario is there's two ice skaters. It's uh, one of the ice skaters is twice as massive as the other ice skater. So I'm gonna draw that person a little bit taller here. And this person is 100 kilograms, and the lighter person is half that, 50 kilograms. And uh, they push on each other. So this one feels a force this way. And one of the questions you may ask is, okay, well, if they're pushing on each other, this one feels a force. How much, how does this, the force on the other person, compare? And of course, according to the third law, they must be equal and opposite. So this is going to be in the opposite direction of the force on the, the other person, but equal in magnitude. Okay, so following this line of reasoning, if the forces are equal and opposite, then how do the time intervals that these forces act compare? Well, you can't really be touched without touching uh, at the same time. So when you, when you touch something, a touch another person, for example, it's not like one person could be touching the other person longer than the other person's touching them back. It, it takes two people to touch. So the time intervals over which they, they will be touching each other are going to be identical, of course. Okay, so then this leads you us to the next idea of which one experiences a larger change in momentum. Well, according to this equation here, they, if this one has a change in momentum, which is, by the way, equal to the force on that person but times the time interval they experience that force, this one must experience the same magnitude of the change in momentum. Uh, of course, this one has, it's the direction is opposite, but the magnitudes are going to be the same. So they each exchange the same amount of momentum. But since they have the same starting uh, momentum, that is, they're at rest, that means that the momenta that they have after the end of it um, is going to be the same in magnitude, except the direction will be opposite. Okay. All right, well, that's cool. So they give you each other the same force over the same time period. And then this one gets momentum this way, and the 100 kilogram skater gets momentum the opposite direction. Same magnitude, but opposite direction. The total momentum in this case, be beginning initially, was zero. But if you add up their momenta at the end, uh, of course you're going to get uh, zero here, right? Again because they have equal and opposite final momenta. Um, another way of looking at this is that um, they started with zero momentum. And because the net external force on them was zero, that means that the total change in momentum would be zero. And if the total change in momentum is zero, remember that delta P is P final minus P initial. If that's zero, this means that the final initial must equal the initial, uh, final momentum must equal the initial momentum. Well, we already knew that. But the reason that was true was because the t net external force was zero. And what do I mean by the net external force? Implied in here is that I'm defining a system, and my system in this situation is the two people together. So I include, uh, whenever I have a system where I include all of the objects that are exerting forces on each other, then I will find that the, there's all of the forces are internal forces, and when I add this force to this force, those two forces on the system as a whole will add up to zero. And there will always be a zero net external force. And under those circumstances, momentum will be conserved or constant. Um, so really this is telling us that under, underlying all of this is the conservation law for momentum. And really 
The reason that these forces are equal and opposite, the reason the third law is true, is really due to momentum conservation and not a, a law of, you know, separate, separate from that um, that exists on its own.